Hey guys, comma, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com, period. In this video, comma, I'd like to talk to you about Max Speech Dictate, period. Max Speech Dictate, comma, is speech recognition software for Mac OS X, period. Essentially, Max Speech Dictate allows you to use your words to control your Macintosh, period. Now, as you can see, comma, it takes a little bit of time for it to pop up, period. In this case, what's happening is the software is transcribing my words into text, but because it thinks I'm writing something, it's using it's putting it in in chunks. Period. New paragraph. However, you can talk at a normal speed and get fairly decent accuracy. Period. Now, what's nice about Max Speech Dictate, comma, is that it actually trains or is trained rather to your voice. Period. When you first open up the software, comma, it instructs you to read several passages so the software can get accustomed to your voice. Period. Not only your voice, comma, but it also gets accustomed to your tones and how high and how low you get depending on what you're saying. Period. Because in the English language, comma, there are several words that sound similar, and depending on how you accent or the tone that you use, comma, the word means something else. Period. Now, Max Speech Dictate, comma, can do a lot more than just transcribing your words into text. Period. Obviously, comma, this is a very useful feature and one of the primary reasons why you would indeed purchase Max Speech Dictate. Period. However, comma, this doesn't just transcribe your audio like I alluded to before. Period. Max Speech Dictate can control your entire Macintosh, comma, with your voice. Period. So let's give you an example. Period. Open Google Chrome. Now, as you can see, comma, it's not perfect, but let me try again. Open Google Chrome. There we go. Michael Sherlock, select go. Go. Scratch that. Scratch that. Now, as you can see, there are several little words uh, that are used to control your computer. Scratch that. Scratch word. Scratch word. Now, if you go over to diction, you can see all the different commands you have. Capitalizing, text editing, punctuation, special symbols. Now, you have a lot of control with that, a lot of flexibility, but there also are global controls. So if you want to close something, you can force quit. You can command, copy change to diction mode, left arrow, press OK, press save, and that's really what I was doing wrong, so let's go back to Google Chrome over here, and let's, let's start again. Open Google Chrome, Michael Sherlock, press OK, and as you can see, we controlled and got all the way to a Google search with that. So let's say I, you know, wanted to press OK. Press OK. And I'm still getting used to the different verbiage here. But you can delete different words, go to sleep mode, switch to whatever, undo diction, up arrow. So let's try it. Up arrow. Up arrow. Um, so let's say we wanted to close the app. We have different controls here. Quit Google Chrome. Quit Google Chrome. All right, so that's obviously not working. Let's try something else. Open text edit. Now, comma, as you can see, comma, we're back to a simple text edit, comma. Scratch the last word. Scratch that. Scratch word. Period. New paragraph. Now, comma, Speaking with punctuation, comma, is hard to get used to, period. In fact, as you can see, sometimes I'll leave out punctuation, and sometimes I'll put extra punctuation in where it's not necessary, period. Now, the more and more that you use this software, comma, you're going to get used to it, and it's going to become a natural thing, period. I tested this a few weeks ago prior to making this video, comma, and w after about an hour or two, I got really fluid in speaking with punctuation, period, new paragraph. And as you can see, comma, it just did a good job. I implemented two commands at the same time, period. I said, period, new paragraph, and it made a new paragraph, period. 
and sometimes obviously it's not going to work correctly, comma, especially when you're recording with two microphones to make a video for YouTube, comma, but it does do a fairly good job, period. New paragraph. Open pages. So now we're just going to open up pages and see what happens. Just a little uh, demo. Press OK. There we go, comma. We've opened up pages, comma, and now we're ready to write our next novel, period. Now, this is a real-world situation and implementation where you'd actually use this, period. You plug in the microphone. That is included. This is a Plantronics headset, comma, that they've provided with me, period. When you buy Max Speech Dictate, comma, you will get a microphone. Uh, th in this case, comma, it's a headset, period. With that, you plug it into their USB adapter, comma, and it plugs in via USB, period. From there, you select in the Max Beach Dictate settings that particular microphone, period. Now, you can use other microphones, comma, but they do recommend that you use the headset they provide, period. Now, whether that be for troubleshooting, comma, or just getting the best usage, comma, is entirely up in the air, period. However, the Plantronics headset, comma, that they provided to me, and with all retail packaging, I believe, comma, does do a pretty good job. New paragraph. And if we look back in the previous paragraph, comma, you can see that Plantronics was actually spelled correctly, period. Now that's actually pretty amazing, comma. It is not spelled correctly It's because it's not an English word, comma, and you can see that with the spell check, comma, but it is the correct spelling for the company, and I'm really impressed that Max Speech Dictate, comma, was able to figure it out, period. And again, in that last run-on sentence, comma, you can see that I got punctuation happy. And it also said that sex is pretty amazing, which you know is not what I said, comma. So obviously you're going to want to proofread this prior to sending it to your boss, to your teachers, or to anyone, comma. But it does do a pretty good job and it allows you to get your thoughts out on the page pretty quickly, period. New paragraph. Now I don't know about you, but when I'm writing, comma, I try to get all my thoughts down onto the page, comma, and then go back and copy edit, period. So, Max Speech Dictate is a great solution for that, comma. You're really able to get words down quickly, get your ideas out on the page, and then go back and edit later because it's not necessary to make it perfect in your first rough cut. New paragraph. So, comma, I'm Michael Sherlock from michaelsherlock.com, comma. What do you think about Max Speech Dictate? Question mark. Do you think it's worth the price, comma? Do you think you would use it, comma? And do you think it's accurate for what it is, question mark? Leave the answer in the comments below because I'd like to check out your opinions, period. New paragraph. Thanks for watching and have a great day, exclamation mark.